Here we got mythology. Mm -hmm. And here we have scientific evidence that Earth was blasted around 12,900 years ago by a multi-impact event. People, we've been around, modern humans have been around for probably a couple of hundred thousand years. The event that happened is called the Younger Dryas. Younger Dryas was an extreme climate event that was documented in Europe. It's named after a flower called Dryas octopetala. Dryas octopetala is a polar wildflower that loves the cold. When these botanists and whoever was studying the plant, they saw that it was growing in Europe during the Ice Age, when Europe was 10 degrees colder than now, and then it disappeared for about 1,300, 1,400, 1,500 years, and then it suddenly came back again. So from that, they concluded, well, you've got this cold-loving flower that was there, then it was suddenly gone, and then it reappeared. So you had this interval where it warmed up, and the flower didn't like the warm weather. And then it came back again, so that means the cold weather came back. Those kinds of things have been documented. Explorers up there seeing that kind of stuff. Now fast forward to the Younger Dryas, the lower Younger Dryas boundary, which is dated just a little bit younger than 12,900 years. Iridium has been found, platinum has been found, nano diamonds have been found, which are microscopic diamonds. And the only other place that diamonds just like that have been found, the KT boundary from 66 million years ago. Wow. But we still have large factions of the scientific community that doesn't want to go there, doesn't want to admit that there could have been a global catastrophe 12 or 13,000 years ago.